this is something that has always been very difficult for me to explain. If I'm not painting, I feel sad. I have been doing it since I can pick up a crayon. My name is Danielle Mastrion, and I am a muralist, public artist, street artist, sometimes teacher from Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in a pretty working class neighborhood in Brooklyn. I love it. I still live there. I'm very proud of it. But my mom's family is from Coney Island, so I grew up going to Coney Island in the 80s and the 90s when, like much of New York City, a lot of neighborhoods were in decline. Um, a lot of things were abandoned, forgotten about, covered in graffiti, which I've always loved. But no matter what it looked like, my mother always told me, don't ever be afraid or ashamed of your home or where you come from. But even though it's just a subway ride away, you know, I was realizing a lot of times my family weren't going on the train and going to the galleries. You know, they were too far or little things like that. And I, I started realizing sometimes people feel like, oh, I, I don't understand art. I don't get art. Or like maybe they feel like they don't belong in museums or they don't belong in galleries. For various reasons, sometimes people don't feel so welcomed in those spaces. And that's another thing that shifted for me with public art, that it is accessible to everyone. <laughs> when they're walking down that block, they're going to look at that wall, you know? And they're either going to love it, they're going to hate it, or they're going to be indifferent, but it's still accessible to them. And I think that's the biggest thing, is making sure that art is accessible to all. When you do public art, when you're painting murals in different communities, like if I do something in the Bronx, I don't live in the Bronx, like I leave. The, the mural is left there and it's left for the people that have to see it every single day. That art no longer belongs to me. It belongs to the public, it belongs to the people that have to pass it every single day, it belongs to the community. I think that's the bigger responsibility with public art. I think just as an artist, whatever your field is, whether it's music, whether it's acting, whether it's singing, whether whether it is painting, photography, like it's just, it's not something that you do for a living, it is just who you are. I always tell young emerging artists, up and coming artists, that you never stop working on your craft. There will always be obstacles. People will always try to knock you down, discredit your work, say you don't deserve it or this doesn't make sense or whatever negative comments happen, that will always happen. But if you can become a master at your craft, no one can ever take away your craft. You might get tired, you might get discouraged, but you cannot give up because like when it finally does happen, the reward is so worth it.